Greetings, Fenris fans. I'm oh, glad to see that you're all still here. Hope you're still here. Uh, okay, so I'm doing this video as kind of like, first off, as kind of a catch-up. And to let you know everything's holding out of, of all the chaos of the, what's happening in the world. So I hope you're all doing okay. And I have been spending a lot of time thinking, and like, First off, a lot of stuff has happened. Uh, 40K is getting, uh, 40, 40, Warhammer Plus has started to come out. A lot of people are starting to kind of get into into more into more stuff. Warhammer, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of controversy around Warhammer Plus. That's that's for one thing. So I want you all to so I want so um so let's say that. Well, actually, first off, sorry, but I'm I'm kind of doing this whole thing about uh, uh, I got a I got a Crusade League coming up this the Saturday, so I already kind of got my guy ready here. That's uh, Acer Umberclaw. This is I have his uh, Power Axe, his uh, Combi Melta, which is actually a Forge World Combi Melta to be sure to let you know. If a War if a uh, Games Workshop uh, tournament uh, officers are listening. But uh, right now I have. But right now I want. I, I let's talk about. Let's talk about what's going on with with the Warhammer community and how things are going with like Warhammer animations and Warhammer Plus. So I decided. So I was kind of getting a little fed up with all this, with how with all this back and forth, and I feel it's gotten a lot of mysteriousness. But what's happened is is that. Um, Games Workshop recently changed their IP uh, protocols and said that okay, you can't make Warhammer animations. You can do fan art as long you can do fan art as long as you have some of this and that. But I feel that. But the thing is, is that I feel is that um, their permissions are that it's to help them maintain control of their IP. It helps that because it's like if the, if too many it's because it's like what happens is that if their IP is is abused in some way, then what could end up happening like if someone abuses their their control of the IP, then what could happen is that like they could lose access to their universe. They could lose it for like they could like someone would say, oh, you have to give you have to give up this IP. You can't use it anymore. You guys can't use it anymore. And this is and remember, this is a this is Games Workshop. They created Warhammer, and they started and it's like if they lose Warhammer, then that's basically their entire revenue going out the window. But yeah, they can they should be a little more lax in trying to encourage. Um, people on YouTube to do their own animations, but they have. But I just decided. But basically, here's the thing: I decided to write an email to their legal team, as saying, <clears throat> "I said now, here's what I wrote. To whom it may concern, I'm to whom it may concern. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm wanting to create a uh, fan animation set in either your Warhammer Forty Thousand or Warhammer Age of Sigmar settings." But I'm not in the condition to, uh, for content to be put on the Warhammer Plus streaming service, so I wish to put the content on YouTube. I ask if there is, I ask you if there is a way to put the content on YouTube without infringing upon your intellectual property. Guidelines would be most helpful to provide protection for both your company and myself and possible future content creators. Please respond as soon as possible. But if this is not the correct address, I would appreciate it if this concern was directed to someone who could help. So I wrote that September third, and I'm actually surprised that Kate that they that they sent me a response today. Uh, that so today's uh, September sixth, and he said, and whoever and the person who sent this said, thank you. And now here's their reply. Thank you for getting in touch. 
It's great to hear of your passion for Warhammer, as we're always interested in hearing about the exciting projects our hobbyists are involved in. Oh, hold on, let me just put this up for us, for you guys. Sorry, I can't get. Sorry, I can't get bigger because my head would get. Uh, let me try and see if I can uh, expand it a little. I, I can. I can share the light. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Games Workshop has a policy for not providing express permission for use of its IP. This is because we are very protective of our IP and we cannot control how it is used. I am sorry if my answer disappoints you. It was not my intention. It's, it's not. It was not my intention, especially as it's obvious that our games mean a lot to you. We do appreciate your support, and if you have any more questions about Games Workshop's policy regarding its IP, it is worth having a look at Games Workshop's intellectual property site. This contains a really useful guide which help, which answers a lot of questions hobbyists have about what Games Workshop may or may not allow them to do with its IP. Whilst we don't grant express permission to use Games Workshop IP, we do grant licenses. You may submit a detailed proposal to our licensing department. You would need to provide more information on what intellectual property you wish to use and what it is you are planning on creating and selling. I am sorry this is not the answer you wanted, but it is the same answer that we give to all inquiries of this nature. Good luck. That's, that's actually impressive. That's, I, I think a lot of people who have been trying to wrap their heads around this whole thing, but I, it's not 100% straightforward, but it is actually something. I think, because it's like a lot of people are probably like, because everyone's going on YouTube and going on Facebook and Twitter and saying, oh, boycott Games Workshop, destroy them. And it's like, do you, you're, you're trying basically you're trying to destroy something that you don't un, that you're not really understanding and I thought and believe me I thought we usually try to kind of we think we move past something like past thinking like that but we had kind of slip back into it so I say if you're trying to start something start uh, start like a, an animation try to contact their legal department or a licensing group and see what you can and see what you can do see what you want see what you can actually be able to do something about this like hey I want to hey I want to uh, do fan animations on YouTube can I get a can I get a license to do that or because uh, like Oh, I can do. Uh, if you do, if you do a license, then I can probably do some ad. I can I can put your uh, descriptions uh, in the. I put your uh, your <laughs> Warhammer Plus in the description, and maybe I can give you guys some of some of my more exclusive animations. Uh, even though I'm not working on any animations, I was just I was just test I was just testing the waters here because I really wanted to find out so much about because I really wanted to find out about this stuff. <sighs> now let's see. Another thing I kind of wanted to talk about another now uh, another thing I wanted to talk about. I was <laughs> I got into this whole thing. I was because it's like I've been getting because I haven't I haven't I haven't rolled dice in five years. Of for forty k, I it is like that's scary. But I've been keeping up with the with the lore. I've got the books. I've got my I've got my uh, Space Marine Codex right here, uh, and I have got my Space Wolf supplement somewhere, and I'm getting my Crusade Force ready for this Saturday. And one of the things interesting things is is that when you use grit like for Space Marine players, when you're trying to use like if you want to use grenade when you want to use grenades if you have the idea to use grenades remember you have frag and crack grenades frag grenades are things with frag grenades i are things like with swarms or with like where you're dealing with swarms or you're dealing with um light infant light armored infantry because remember strength three no ap one damage but you get six hits but you get six shots so you lob a grenade. So you're basically lobbing a grenade, and and the entire and once it explodes, you have a chance of doing six of doing six uh, damage. 
So, but so basically, it's like if you're doing a, if you're gonna ch kill a few guardsmen, throw that in with the guardsmen. Throw throw a grenade in with the guardsmen. But if you're going up against space marines, use a crack grenade. Because if you use a crack grenade, then you're basically going to, then you can basically take out, you have a good chance of taking out one space marine. And taking out one space marine is actually a good, it's actually good for you. Because it reduces their firepower, and it makes, and it kind of softens them up a little. So, you're, you're doing something. That's actually a good, that's, that's a good tactic. So... So basically, that's kind of what I've been wanting to do. That's what kind of what I, so basically, that's what I've been wanting to say for this entire time. And it's like, uh, it's, it's I just hope that this kind of helps develop dialogue around what's happening in the in the in the with go with the Warhammer IP stuff and the fan animations and all that. So I just so so basically, just give these give it a chance. Cause I, cause I subscribe to Warhammer Plus, and they, and sure, they don't have a lot of content. They're a very niche, uh, it's a very niche service, and they're still, and they're likely, st and like you can't just plop. It, it's kind of like, um, it's, it's kind of like, what am I thinking? It's kind of like DC Universe. Back when DC Universe was was a streaming service, you had access to ton yeah they had access to comic books but the thing was is that they didn't have a lot of of uh, video streaming uh, service a lot of video streaming content they had to it, they had to they had to they had to go slow because if you tried to plop an entire season on a show on an entire season then what's gonna happen is is that everyone's gonna binge through that show or those two shows and then they're going to then they're just going to oh I'll wait for the next show to come out I'll wait, I'll wait for the I'll wait I'll wait for I'll cancel my subscription then I'll wait next year it's how they it's how they're first off they're a business they have to make money and I get it there are businesses that are, have very unfair practices very like if you like if if you have if you see that they've got unfair practices then just simply take them simply report them to, to some government group or whatever but just understand that you have to understand them because I know there are a lot of you got because I know we're living in a in a culture where everyone's trying to strip money of a uh, by uh, from these guys by like put it, posting their content for free on sites but it's like you're also kind of hurt you're also hurting like say an author that you like or an animator that you like it's you're you're, you're taking money out of their out of their hands because a lot of these guys probably because there are probably a number of authors and animators and story writers that don't get a lot of money for what they produce for what they produce so so basically that's it I hope you I hope you all had this interesting uh, time I hope you're all okay and I also say to you like I say all the other times happy hunting <laughs>